So today's video is going to be a foundation for Simpressions, and I know, I know, I kind of made a vow to myself that I wouldn't do foundation first impressions anymore that I would only do foundation reviews just because sometimes first impressions don't go as planned sometimes you don't use the right primer I don't know I just feel like you really need to use a foundation more than once to see if you really like it or not so I know I'm sorry this is a first impressions but only because it's this foundation I really wanted to try it for the first time with you guys because it's been so requested for me to try this foundation out ever since it came out you guys have been asking me to review it to give you my thoughts and I just I just wanted to use it for the first time with you I wanted you guys to share this experience with me because this is a face and body foundation guys okay, okay I'm getting ahead of myself let me tell you what this is this is the Dior backstage face and body foundation and now I know what you're thinking okay cool but if you guys have been a subscriber of mine since the very beginning you would already know that the makeup forever face and body foundation was my favorite foundation of all time this baby right here this is a completely full one I have like seven backups of this in my backup drawer and I realized it's gonna go bad before I get to use them all, but that's okay. This is my favorite foundation hands down ever, 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 but then Makeup Forever decided to stab me right in the heart and discontinue this foundation. Well, they didn't discontinue it, they revamped it and they created the Water Blend Foundation that is supposed to be similar to this, but it is not similar. This is way, way better than the thing they replaced it with, but... So anyway, as you can imagine, that day was very hard for me. I love this because you could build it up, get like 20 layers, it never looks cakey. It's a very, very, very thin coverage, but totally buildable. You can get a medium coverage, you just really gotta apply a lot. But it's okay because even if you apply 10 pounds of this, it never looks like foundation. It looks amazing. I mean, I wouldn't recommend this type of foundation if you have a lot of acne scars or a lot of acne, because like I said, it is light coverage. So anyway, longest intro ever, but Dior has now released a face and body foundation. Is it gonna be similar to that? Who knows? But when I first got into makeup, one of the one of the first foundations I ever used was the MAC Face and Body Foundation. That was my favorite foundation for a very long time, but I started to notice that it was severely breaking me out. So I stopped using it and then moved over to this, and this never broke me out, and this became the love of my life. So I am hoping that maybe this becomes the new love of my life. I don't know. Can't use the MAC one, can't use the Makeup Forever one, so we shall see. This says it's a professional performance, waterproof and sweat resistant, custom build foundation to give you a natural glowy finish. And yes, I picked up the shade 2.5 Neutral. I'm hoping this is my color because I honestly winged it online, so hopefully it doesn't look bad. Let me put on my little ears. You guys haven't seen this guy in a while, huh? That's because I lost it, but I found it yesterday right behind my vanity, like behind my makeup desk, in a little pile of dust. But I washed it, obviously. Uh, I have a little bit of mascara residue because I filmed a video earlier this morning because it turns out I actually have to fly to LA like in three weeks. So I'm pre-recording again. <laughs> I've already primed my face with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer, but I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. And I use this moisturizer underneath foundations all the time. So this is what the packaging looks like. I think it is beautiful. Like, look how pretty. It's like rubbery, like soft touch. I love it. Oh, it's a little squeezy too. I don't know why I thought this would be a pump. I mean, like, it doesn't look like a pump like that, right? I don't know, but I'm excited. I love squeezy tubes. Okay, so this is too dark for me. Damn it. I'm gonna do one side with a brush and then the other side with a beauty blender, but if this is anything like the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation, I'm not gonna like to use it with a beauty blender just because that soaks up so much of the product. And these types of foundations have very sheer coverage and they're pretty much water anyway, so using a beauty blender kind of sucks up all that coverage. This undertone is like too peachy for me. I don't know if you can tell on camera. I mean, the good thing about these face and body type of foundations is because they are so sheer, you can kind of blend it out and make it work for your skin tone. Ooh, this looks so pretty. This is one layer. And this is no foundation. You can kind of see like my redness here a bit. I mean, you can still see it here on this side, but it like really evened out my skin tone. I like that. It feels a little tacky, but who knows? I could be my moisturizer underneath. All right, I'm gonna use my beauty blender and go in on this side. You see, like when I first put it on, I'm like, huh, that's like a caramel color. But as you blend it in, it like looks all right. 
Um, yeah, I like it more with the brush. Not that it looks bad with the Beauty Blender. It just sucks up way too much of that coverage. Honestly, I mainly use Beauty Blenders because foundations are typically too heavy for my dry skin. So a Beauty Blender will really sheer it out and just make it look more natural. With foundations like this, they go on nicely with a brush. And my favorite way to apply the face and body foundation from Makeup Forever was if I pushed it into the skin. I found that swiping it across my face was just dragging the product and it would look really streaky. So pressing it in would really, really help me. And I'm finding that to be the case with this foundation as well. Okay, so you guys saw that big old pimple I had right here. I mean, it's still very much there. But it covered This definitely has more coverage than my Makeup Forever Face and Body. That's for sure. I mean, looking at my face, it's not as natural as my Makeup Forever Face and Body. I will tell you that. Like, I could apply 27 layers of that Makeup Forever foundation. But I know that if I do more than two layers of this, I'm already going to start to see a cakey situation. I will already start to see it sitting on my skin. So it's not as natural as that one, which could be a good thing for some of you. Maybe you didn't like how natural that one was. Okay, so I don't know how much exactly I poured out of this guy, but I know I did more than one layer. I tried to build it up just to see how it looked, and I really do like how this looks on my skin right now. I am already noticing it going into my smile lines right off the bat, but I mean, that happens to me with so many freaking foundations. It's, it's, it's a thing. But besides that, which I mean is immediately where my eyes go, but besides that, I think this looks really, really nice. It looks good in between my brows. It looks a little bit foundation-y around my nose, but not really. I mean, I'm just being overly critical with it. And it looks really good on the rest of my skin. It really does. I like how fresh it looks. Very, very natural. And honestly, it, just, it really does look like my skin. Besides my smile lines, I have zero complaints so far. All right, so besides the color being too dark, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually think it's oxidizing a little bit like when I first started to blend it in I was like, oh, it's not too dark man It does sink right into my smile lines here on the side, but I love how it looks on my skin It looks so pretty and maybe if I just set my smile lines we will be okay <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup I'm gonna do something very minimal just because I'm gonna come back at the end of the day to show you guys my face and how it wore I mean, it's already 3 p.m. So I'm gonna try to keep it on as long as I can one more con I will say. I do notice my pores a little bit more with this foundation than I usually do with other foundations. So if you have that issue, I would say go in with a pore minimizing primer before you go in with this. I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. But okay, BRB. Hey guys, so I thought I would pop back on really quick before I finished up my makeup. Am I crazy? Like, is this foundation oxidizing on me or what? Maybe it'll help if I bake like down here a little bit just to clean up or what I was actually popping on here to tell you guys was I also bought the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. It's a highlighting and blush palette, also from Dior, expensive. Both of these things, by the way, were expensive. This foundation and this little freaking palette, which I thought was gonna be bigger. By the way, when I ordered online and I got in the mail, I was like, oh, that's, that's smaller than I thought. But I swatched them and they feel really nice. Um, man, I got this in the mail and I was like, why did I buy this? Why did I spend my money on this? I know I'm only gonna use these two shades. Like if I know I'm only gonna use these two shades, why do I buy this? This is Dior, you know, like that's a lot of money just to use two shades, but I always give myself the excuse of, oh, but my YouTube channel. So do I want gold? Yeah, I'm gonna start off with gold first and then maybe if I feel like I need this one, I'll pop a little bit of that. Very, very pretty, very, very pretty. I like that. It's very, very intense. Let me see if I add a little bit of that white on top. It's gonna make it like more intense. So I don't wanna like do too much. Wow, that combo is so pretty. If you're into super glowy highlights that are like bing, you will love this. <laughs> But I don't know if I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, worth the $17,000 I paid. I feel like foundations are different. Base products, you know, it's different. But a highlight, the Anastasia Amrezi highlight gives you like this exact same look. And it's a lot cheaper, so. Just saying. I'm gonna go over my mascara. Even though it's probably not a good idea, but whatever. Oh, by the way, setting my smile lines with that ColourPop No Filter Powder really did help a bit. And in case you're wondering, I bronzed my skin with the Thrive Rhea Bronzer. And the blush I used is Bashful from L'Oreal. And I used my Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes. And now, I'm just gonna put on some lips. I have like foundation on my lips. 
So sorry about that. <laughs> I'm gonna apply some lipstick, some random lipstick. Really random. Really random lipstick. Okay guys, so, so far so good. I'm actually really loving how this looks on my skin. It has good coverage, but it looks really natural. Not nearly as natural as the other face and body foundations I've used in the past though. If you're looking at this foundation as a dupe for the Makeup Forever face and body, I would say this is not it. It has more coverage and it's a little bit more foundation-y. It's not as sheer and as watery and as dewy as Makeup Forever or MAC. But with that being said, I still think it looks great, natural, beautiful, and I'm curious to see how this looks at the end of the day, because who knows? Hey guys, so it is officially 10.55 p.m. I was waiting until 11 p.m. on five minutes early, <laughs> but I haven't had this foundation on for as long as I would want to. I try to do at least eight hours with these types of videos, but we got almost seven, about seven hours of wear time. And honestly, I really, really like it. I even like it more now as it's been sitting on my skin all day. I mean, don't get me wrong, it has faded in a few areas. Foundation has worn off on my nose, a little bit in between my brows, and it has worn off around my mouth and on my chin. It is no longer covering the pimple it was covering earlier. So it has kind of faded in my T-zone, but I like how it has worn on my skin because you guys know I do have dry skin and I feel like it has gotten dewier as the day has gone on. I don't know if it was because of my primer, but my skin does look pretty dewy. Like you can tell well, dewy, it looks a little oily. You can see right here on my forehead it does look shiny and around my nose here it looks shiny. So in my T-zone, it's looking pretty shiny, which is rare because I usually have a very, very, very dry T-zone. I have to play around with it more, but I do really like it. I did notice throughout the day, I was like rubbing my face. I was watching a movie and I had my face in my hand, like for the entire movie, and I feel like it didn't really lift off any of my foundation. It's still there. My highlight is still there. My bronzer is still there. I think everything looks really good. It just looks a little bit oily. So I don't know if you would like this if you have oily skin, but I think if you have normal to dry skin, you might really like this foundation. It does have a high price tag, so I'm a little bit more critical because of that. I'm usually a little bit more lenient with drugstore foundations, and I'm a little bit more picky with luxury foundations like this. So I'm not exactly sure if it's worth the high price tag, but I just, I really like how it looks on my skin right now. Oh, I was gonna tell you, I never take a flash test when I do these types of videos, but Danny's stepmom was here earlier and we were like taking photos and she took a picture with a flash and I noticed that my foundation did not give me a flashback. Like I was looking at the photo and I was like, damn, my foundation looks good. So it looks good in photos, which is a major plus. And I just have to play around with it more because it's so pricey. I want to make sure it's worth it. But I mean, so far, so good. I, I really, really like it. My heart is telling me this might be a new favesies of mine. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know if you've tried this foundation in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. That was my first impressions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I kind of made a vow. Oh, I need to sneeze. I have to go wash my hands now. Excuse me.